morning students so today we have to discuss some extra problems based on quadratic equations so please write down the heading extra problems so we have to discuss it is based on some quadratic equation so what is actually quadratic equation it is of the form of ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 and we have to solve the quadratic equation by using two methods the first method is known as factorization okay and the second method is that by using quadratic formula what is actually quadratic formula x equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4 ac by 2a so we have two methods for solving quadratic equation so the first method is known as factorization and the second method is that by using quadratic formula and that formula is known as x equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4 ac by 2a okay and here uh, before that we have to consider three cases suppose b square minus 4 ac this b square minus 4 ac is known as the discriminant discriminant of the quadratic equation okay and suppose if you finding the uh, roots of the quadratic equation by using this formula suppose b square minus 4 ac is greater than 0 then we actually get two distinct real roots two distinct real roots okay suppose b square minus 4 ac equal to 0 suppose if you finding the equation or the discriminant the value b square minus 4 ac equal to 0 so that times it become b square minus 4 ac is equal to 0 then that value should be we get two equal roots okay suppose b square minus 4 ac is less than 0 that means it is a non negative or it is a negative number then it is having no real roots Did you get the idea what is the main points b square minus 4 ac is actually known as the discriminant of the quadratic equation suppose it is having three cases this cases is known as nature of roots what is that nature of roots what is actually nature of roots suppose b square minus 4 ac is greater than 0 we get two distinct real roots and suppose b square minus 4 ac equal to 0 we get two equal roots suppose b square minus 4 ac is greater than not greater than 0 sorry sorry if it is less than 0 we get no real roots three cases are there suppose it is greater than zero suppose it is equal to zero suppose if it is less than zero less than zero means it's a negative number then it's having no real roots okay and we have to consider the next problem so write the first problem first one solve 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 the quadratic equation solve the quadratic equation x minus 1 x minus 1 minus 5 into x minus 1 minus 5 into x minus 1 minus 6 equal to 0 minus 6 equal to 0 we have to consider the second case 1 by x so this is a part and this is b part 1 by x plus 2 by 2 x minus 3 equal to 1 by x minus 2 equal to 1 by x minus 2 so what is the equation 1 by x plus 2 by 2 x minus 3 equal to 1 by x minus 2 and the third question is that and the third question C 3 by 3 by x plus 1 plus 4 by x minus 1 equal to 
29 by 4x minus 1. 29 by 4x minus 1. Okay, so the equation we have to solve for x, the first question is x minus 1 into, so please write down the question, x minus y, 1 into 5 into x minus 1 minus 6 equal to 0 and the second question is that 1 by x plus 2 by 2x minus 3 equal to 1 by x minus 2 and the third question is 3 by x plus 1 plus 4 by x minus 1 which is equal to 29 by 4x minus 1. Okay, so first we have to solve the first one. So what is first one? So write it, please write down the heading as solution. So we have to solve the first one. Consider, consider x minus 1 into 5 into x minus 1 minus 6 equal to 0. x minus 1, not x minus 1, x minus 1 the whole score is there. Okay. x minus 1 the whole square minus 5 into x minus 1 minus 6 equal to 0. So that become, what is a minus b the whole square, a square minus 2ab plus b square. So this become, this implies, this is the symbol implies. Okay. So, not always writing E equal symbol, please write this e implies, okay. So, this become x square, what is a minus b the whole square? a square minus 2ab plus b square. So, x square minus 2x plus 1. If you expanding x minus 1 the whole square, we get x square minus 2x minus 2x plus 1. So, here we opening the bracket. So, that become minus 5x plus 5 minus 6 equal to 0, okay, minus 5x plus 5 minus 6 equal to 0, okay, and this implies, so this become x square, if we consider this minus 2x and minus 5x, we get minus 7x, okay, x square minus 7x, here 1 is there, 1 plus 5, 6, so, 6 minus 6 is there which is equal to 0. So, again we simplify this one. So, that become here 6 minus 6 is there. So, this if we cancel this one it becomes 0 there. So, the final output becomes x square minus 7x equal to 0. It is very important one. Here we get x square minus 7x equal to 0. That means we have to write this one as this implies x into x minus 7 should be equal to 0, x into x minus 7 should be equal to 0 and this implies x equal to 0 or x minus 7 equal to 0, okay. So, this implies x equal to 0 or x equal to 7. So, this is the two roads of the quadratic equation x equal to 0 and x equal to minus 7, clear. So, here we expand by using a minus b the whole square, here we expanding that one, then we opening the bracket, so we finally we get this equation and if we again we simplify this one, we get x square minus 7x equal to 0, so that become x into x minus 7 equal to 0, so finally we get x equal to 0 and x equal to 7, okay. So, can I move on to the second question, the second one is that, what is second one? 1 by x, right? Okay, so that become so what is second one? 1 by x plus 2 by 2x minus 3 equal to 1 by x minus 2. Okay. So, if we cross multiply, so that become 2x minus 3 plus 2x by x into 2x minus 3 equal to 1 by x minus 2. Okay, so this implies 4x 
minus 3 by if you multi open in this bracket we get 2x square minus 3x right. So that become 2x square minus 3x equal to 1 by x minus 2 is it clear if we add in this 2x and 2x we get 4x 4x minus 3 and by if you multiply with this x term it become 2x square minus 3x equal to 1 by x minus 2. So, if your term is like this we should cross, cross multiply this term so that become what is the ne next term 4x minus 3 into 4x minus 3 into this is the cross multiplication ok. So, this become into x minus 2 which is equal to 2x square minus 3x we get 2x square minus 3x again we are opening the bracket. So, that become 4x square ok 4x square minus 8x 4x square minus 8x 4x into x is 4x square ok 4x into minus 2 minus 8x minus 3 into x. So, that become minus 3x and minus 3 into minus 2 it become plus 6 ok plus 6 which is equal to 2x square minus 3x. So, that become 2x square minus 3x. So, this implies this implies 4 x square minus 11 x plus 6 equal to 2 x square minus 3 x. Then move on to this side. So, that become this implies 4 x square ok 4 x square minus 11 x plus 6 plus 6 minus 2 x square plus 3 x equal to 0. So, that become 4 x square minus 11 x plus 6. So, we this term move on to this side. So, that become minus 2 x square plus 3 x equal to 0. So, this implies 4 x square this implies 4 x square if we simplify in this term minus 11 x is there plus 3 x is there. So, that become minus 8 x is there. So, that is 4 x square minus 8 x plus 6 minus 2 x square equal to 0. Is it clear? So, here this the same term 4 x square is there. If I simplify in this minus 11 x and uh, plus 3 x minus plus find the difference. So, it become minus 8 x and plus 6 is there and minus 2 x square is there which is equal to 0 ok. So, this implies this implies. So, we can simplify this 4 x square and minus 2 x square. So, that become 2 x square 2 x square minus 8 x plus 6 equal to 0. So, finally, we get the quadratic equation as 2 x square minus 8 x plus 6 equal to 0. So, what is the final equation? 2 x square So, the final equation is 2 x square minus 8 x plus 6 equal to 0 clear. So, if you dividing throughout by 2 dividing throughout by 2 we get x square minus 4 x plus 3 equal to 0. What is that? x square minus 4 x plus 3 equal to 0 ok. So, that become we have to apply the equation. What is the equation? x equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a ok. So, what is a here? Here a equal to 1 and b equal to minus 4 and c equal to 3 here 
a equal to 1, b equal to minus 4 and c equal to 3 here. Okay. So, we get x equal to minus b. So, minus of minus 4 plus plus or minus root of b square that is minus 4 square minus 4 into a into c by 2a that is 2 into 1. So, that become which is equal to 4 plus or minus root of 16 minus 12 by 2. So, this is equal to 4 plus or minus root of 4 by 2. So, this is equal to 4 plus or minus 2 by 2. Clear? Because root of 4 is 2 here. Clear? 16 minus 12 is 4 and root of 4 by 2. Okay. So, 4 plus or minus 2 by 2. Again, we simplify in that term we get what is that? First value is x equal to x equal to 4, 4 plus 2 by 2. So, that become 8 by 2 which is equal to 4 and the next root is x equal to 4 minus 2. We have to get 2 roots actually. If we adding plus 4 plus 2, 6 by 2 that is, uh, oh sorry, sorry, 4 plus 2, 6 is there. So, 6 by 2 is 3 here. So, the first root is 3 and the second one is 4 minus 2 by 2 that is 2 by 2 which is equal to 1. So, we get actually 2 roots x equal to 3 and x equal to 1. Okay. So, finally, we get 2 roots x equal to 3 and x equal to 1. So, can I move on to the next one, third one. So, the equation is first we have to consider the, uh, first we have to simplify this equation and finally, we get x square minus 4 x plus 3 equal to 0. Then we apply the equation minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4 ac by 2 a. So, finally, we get the roots of x equal to 3 and x equal to 1 here. Okay. So, we move on to the next one, next problem. The next problem is, uh, what is that? 3 by, right? 3 by x plus 1 plus 4 by x minus 1 equal to 29 by 4x minus 1. Okay. So, what is first step? First, you have to cross multiply. So, it is become this implies 3 into x minus 1 plus 4 into x plus 1, right? By x plus 1 into x minus 1, x plus 1 into x minus 1, which is equal to 29 by 4x minus 1. Okay. Then we multiply. So, this will become 3x minus 3 plus 4x plus 4 by what is this equation? x plus a into x minus 1 that is x square minus 1. What is a plus b into a minus b? a square minus b square. In the same way, what is x plus 1 into x minus 1? That is x square minus 1 square and this is equal to 29 by 4x minus 1. Okay. And this implies and this implies, if we simplify in this one, here 3x is there, here 4x is there, so we get 7x, 7x plus 1 by x square minus 1, 7x plus 1 by x square minus 1 equal to 29 by 4x minus 1. Okay. Then again we cross multiplying, so we get, what is that? 7x plus 1 into, this is cross multiplication, right? Okay, into 4x minus 1 equal to 29 into x square minus 1. So, that become 28x square minus 7x plus 4x minus 1 equal to if we open in this bracket, what is the answer? 29x square minus 29. So, 29 
x square minus 29 ok. So, that become so this implies and this implies 28 x square minus 7 x plus 4 x minus 1 minus 29 x square plus 29 which is equal to 0 clear. So, this term this 29 x square and minus 29 move on to this side. So, that become 28 x square minus 7 x plus 4 x minus 1 minus 29 x square plus 29 equal to 0. So, if you simplify that one we get we get minus x square right because 28 x square is there and minus 29 x square is there. So, we get minus x square and minus 7 x is there minus plus 4 x is there. So, we get minus 3 x is there and here minus 1 is there and plus 29 is there. So, we get 28 plus 28 equal to 0 ok. So, multiply throughout with minus 1 multiply throughout with minus 1 because so, this become x square minus into minus become positive x square plus 3x minus 28 equal to 0 x square plus 3x minus 28 equal to 0. So, we have to apply the equation a equal to 1 here b equal to 3 and c equal to minus 28 and we apply the formula x equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a ok. So, that become minus 3 plus or minus root of 9 minus 4 into a into c minus 28 by 2 into 1 that is minus 3 plus or minus root of 9 plus what is 28 into 4? 112. So, 112 by 2 ok. So, that become minus 3 plus or minus root of 112 plus 9 is there. So, that become 121 by 2 is there. So, that become minus 3 plus or minus is it clear? So, here this minus and this minus become positive there. So, that become 9 plus 112 by 2 there. So, root of 121 is 11. So, 3 minus 3 plus or minus 11 by 2 ok. So, the first root is given by So, the first root is given by x equal to minus 3 plus 11 by 2. So, that become 8 by 2 which is equal to 4 clear. So, uh, in the sim same way we have to find out the next root as x equal to minus 3 minus 11 by 2 that is minus 14 by 2 and which is equal to minus 7. So, we finally we get two roots x equal to 4 and x equal to minus 4. So, please write down the homework question. The homework question is uh, please write it. Please write down the homework question. So, if the equation is in the form of fraction, you have to first cross multiply, then simplify, then apply the equation x equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. So, write down the homework question. Solve for x first one a solve for x first one is 1 by x plus 4 minus 1 by x minus 7 which is equal to 11 by 30 and b 2x by x minus 3 plus 1 by 2x plus 3 equal to sorry sorry plus 3x plus 9 
3 x plus 9 by x plus 3 into x minus 3 equal to 0 equal to 0 and write the second question the denominator of a fraction is the denominator of a fraction is 1 more than 1 more than twice its numerator 1 more than twice its numerator if the sum of the fraction if the sum of the fraction and its reciprocal is and its reciprocal is 2 16 by 21 so mixed fraction 2 16 by 21 then find the fraction then find the fraction okay thank you